Hey beautifuls, I've known about this for a couple weeks, so I thought I would share it with you. I've been sitting on it and trying to figure out how to prove whether it was gossip or fact. Now I have some correlating information, um, but it still doesn't prove it, but I'll leave it up to you to decide. So what I found is this. Supposedly, about a year ago, Larry accused Maya of having an affair. Now, I can't find strong proof of this, but there are friends of Larry's that have said that Larry mentioned a quote-unquote third party in his marriage. And I've also heard Larry say himself in interviews that for the past year, he and Maya have lived more like roommates than a married couple. He also admitted to arguments and fights over the last couple years. He's referred to the last couple years as being filled with ups and downs and that they have been very rough. Also, I recently heard Maya's sister, Mary Chris, make the statement that Maya did have an appointment with a lawyer because she wanted a divorce. Maya married Larry when she was 18 years old. They've been married for 22 years. They were high school sweethearts. And she was going to divorce him. Also, a young woman that worked under Maya said that Maya had mentioned getting a divorce and had mentioned that Larry was jealous and paranoid. So, let me be clear. I do not know if Maya had an affair or... If Larry just accused her of it. I'm not into uh, spreading gossip or making huge leaping assumptions uh, just for views. So I will leave all of this up to you. But what we do know via Maya's sister is that she was going to get a divorce. And I think we've all learned, especially in the last few years, that getting a divorce from a certain kind of man is a very, very dangerous endeavor. So now I'll show you a couple of Maya's Facebook posts that really give us a clear view of Maya's mindset less than a month before she went missing. Hold on to your chonies, ladies. These posts say it all. Let's go. This was a post that Maya made to her Facebook on December 11th of 2020 at 9.58 p.m. I found it very insightful. I found it very telling of her mindset just a month before she ended up going missing. Uh, the post is long, and again, it's very telling. This is the post. To the black sheep, the outcast, the misfit of the family. To the ones stuck in a rut, suffocating under pressure of others' expectations, or even their own, daily. Who said you had to stay where you are? Who told you your life couldn't change? Whose expectations are you living for? Whose happiness is at stake? Are there unwritten rules I have missed telling us we must exist only to serve others' needs and expectations while denying ourselves, depriving ourselves? No, I didn't think so. Your life is yours to own. That's the beautiful and glorious thing about life. You get to decide what you do with your life and you don't have to justify any of it if you don't want so you wanted to do one thing with your life only to realize it's no longer what you want? It's okay. No one told you you had to pursue that career your parents want you to. It's your life, not theirs. No one is holding a gun to your head, forcing you to fulfill a dream you once had, only to realize it's not what you want anymore. And if you're stuck in place, you don't want to be, break free. Plan your way out and don't look back unless it's to reflect on how far you have come because 
As we grow, we change. As we change, so do our dreams, our wants, and our needs. As our minds open, we see with our eyes the morality and the possibility of wrongs changing. You see a wrong, you can make it right. So make it right. If you want to walk a different path, then walk that path. If you are in unhealthy friendships or relationships, it is okay to walk away. You don't have to stay. Maybe an idea you had to become what you wanted grew into a bigger idea or developed into a more realistic idea that is better suited. Maybe you got to a place that opened your mind to different opportunities, opening doors you never knew were there. Either way, this is your life. Live for you, not those around you. It's your happiness on the line. Don't place it in someone else's hands. Hold it within your own. You have a choice. You are in control. You just have to believe in you. Um, wow. Wow. Um, I'm going to show you another post that she did either immediately before or immediately after, um, which is along the same lines. Uh, but wow, not only was that very true and very poignant, um, and I'm sure a lot of us can relate to it, uh, but again, like I said, it's very telling of where her mind was when, like just a month before she went missing. Okay, let's carry on. And here is the post that Maya made three days later on December 14th. And as you can see, it's right along the same lines as the previous post. So now that we have a lot more insight as to what is going on, um, the red flags just seem to be uh, even more and more and more. So what do you guys think? I'd like to know. Leave a comment below. Love you guys. Be safe out there, especially my ladies. Be safe out there. Uh, these men are losing their minds. Love you guys. Bye.